Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Okay. I so gotta do something here today. Yeah, I, I'm just, I, I seem to be at some sort of a, I don't know what it is, I just can't seem to get this thing done. And, and all that's really left now is get these wires fastened around these little pegs that I put on here yesterday. And then glue them to a common location. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, I, I just don't know what it is. Is it, maybe I'm afraid to start at the next step, which I think is 18. Yeah, 18 is the next step. Uh, it looks like we might possibly get a sunrise this morning. I noticed that some of the cameras are going from night vision to, to day vision. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it, I, can't, I, I can't promise. It's, it, the, the clouds are either coming or going right now, and I don't know which. <laughs> I haven't stuck my head out the door, and I'm not about to. Minus 7.6. I don't want to be sticking my head out the door and, uh, and minus 7.6. Unless I absolutely got to go out. <laughs> Although, you know, yesterday morning I didn't mention it, but I think it was minus 15. Yeah. Anyway. Well, one thing's for sure. It's not minus 15 in uh, Thailand where uh, Peter from Oscale Modeling is, is right now. Nope. <laughs> It'll be nice and warm there. Okay. Now. Uh, I think what we should do is recompose. Oh, no, we won't. We got a very short rollback. I, did, I, I didn't I did go down in the workshop and do what I had thought I was going to, but uh, we'll talk about that when I get down there. It's just very short. It's not a big, long walk around like it was yesterday. So why don't we just quickly roll back and get that over with and then get to work here. You know, I always have what you might call grandiose ideas about what I'm going to do in the evening. Around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I have those grandiose ideas. And I had planned on coming down here and maybe sawing some boards. All I did was I ran the air hose from my dust collector around <laughs> up to the, up to the uh, cutoff saw. Power miter. I don't know what you call it where you live. Um, anyhow, uh, a moment ago I, I was looking at this shop stool that I had made uh, quite a while ago. And, and my thought was I could use this at the lathe. You know, it would sort of raise me up a little, little bit. Like this is, this is fairly high, but this is a lot higher. And, and I thought, I wonder, can I still get on it? Well, if I can't get on this, how am I ever going to get on my Rebel? <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. This, this is the first time I've sat on it in a long, long time. So, let's see what happens here. It should work. Kind of like riding a horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can still do it. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like we are not going to be cutting any boards here tonight. But I wanted to have a bit of a rollback. Yeah. Uh, you know, I haven't squeezed the trigger on that thing for a while. I'm trying to remember, what was the last thing I, I cut with it? Okay, I think uh, I have not adjusted my my hose here, so I don't want it to catch on the blade. No, nope, it shouldn't. And the uh, the lock here. Here we go. <laughs> I forgot how to use it. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be all right. No normally, I do not cut like this unless I'm cutting something really wide. If I'm, uh, if I'm cutting a 2x4, I just come straight down on it. 
it's uh, it's more precise actually than trying to cut away out here. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. I I did plug it in, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. I guess I could have found out by squeezing the trigger, right? Still works. Okay, you're probably wondering, is this old man safe down here in his workshop? <laughs> well, I think so. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to be it for the rollback, so we'll see you in the morning. Now I'm noticing that this white glue seems to dry fairly quickly. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is just take and get my wires. Maybe I should go around once. Yeah, I think I'll just I'll go around once. Well, we'll, we'll start to uh, see which way should I start. I think I'll start at this end here. And uh, we'll, we'll have all the wires come out about here. So in that case, we want this one to go around like this. And move in a little, let's see. Move you in a little bit here. So you can see what's happening. Oh, the uh, heavier gauge wire should be here today. Okay, now I don't want to be pulling things too tight just in case something catches. Now, maybe I should... See, can I grab onto it with this? This wire is so is so fine that uh, if there's a little crack anywhere in the jaws, it won't grab on. So, all right now, uh, I want something to poke this down and but not accidentally get the varnish off of the off of the outside and end up having a short. Okay, that that, that should be all right. Okay, now the idea will be to just take just a little bit of glue and uh, just stick it down. I'm making it worse, aren't I? Okay. I'll, I'll turn this up to about oh, 160 and we'll use the time lapse. Okay, I think that's enough. It's uh, it's still a little bit white in some places, but I think it's I think it's basically dry enough that it's not going to come off of there when I release this. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and quickly do all the others. Uh, I may not use the, the uh, heat gun. I might use my electric heater and uh, get them all on and then let them all dry here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of sounding a little bit undecided, but uh, I think I basically know what I want to do here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that. Okay, here's the thing. Maybe I should say, here's the problem. If your wire is so fine and delicate that when you get it tied into a bit of a knot, you can't see which way the knot goes to untie it and you got to use a microscope, your wire is too fine. I can see where this fine wire would have its place in a model 
if you're trying to really conceal conceal the wire but I think that the wire that is going to be coming today on Amazon all being well which is two sizes bigger than this is probably going to be better I think I think it's about three sizes smaller than the other wire so it's going to be just probably about twice as heavy going by the the weight of the spool versus the length of the wire that's on the spool so uh, I, I think it's going to be a little easier to handle uh, that's it's probably the the wire that we're going to be using on the next four I think there's just four modules I thought there was five more modules but there's only four as near as I can tell so uh, yeah we got a lot of LEDs to wire up yet uh, we're almost done this one I'm just trying to set everything up here now just try and figure out how I can get all the lights to go on at the same time I'd I'd kind of really like to see what they look like all lit up uh, yeah and if if all this twisting and bending of wires I haven't got two bare spots touching you know where the enamel has, has come off in the wrong places <laughs> uh, I don't think it would it's happened but it could have uh, yeah don't get this fine wire okay I got all seven going finally for a while there I could only count six bulbs and no matter how hard I tried I couldn't I couldn't see the sixth one and then I found that one of the wires had come loose off of the whatever it is you want to call it that I made up over here I'm not going to show you just main thing is that the all seven now are, are on and you can't see you can't see seven at the same time no matter how you angle this you can't see it uh, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll move in a little closer and we'll we'll uh, turn the lights off and that's going to be about the best we can do here um, I, I want to go downstairs and cut some lumber it's uh, it's one o'clock just coincidence it's one o'clock and uh, yeah I, I want to call her quits here for today uh, this uh, as I mentioned do not get the extra fine wire the fine wire I think is going to be okay it hasn't come yet but uh, okay Let, let's uh, move in a little bit and I'll switch the lights off and we'll see if we can make it look nice oh I know what I was going to do uh, another viewer by the name of Stefan sent in uh, some photos and I'll show those after we're through here um, yeah and as far as the sunrise goes uh, it, it, it was nothing well actually it was kind of special something unusual happened maybe I will do it see, see how many people notice uh, uh, what, the, what the difference is oh I gotta go Hello. Hello, Missy. Hi. Hi. get away on your run straight to dining room table or something. There we go. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. It's hard to believe she's quiet in the house at home, eh? Yeah, she can, she's so excited when she comes. Yeah. Yeah. And then she just. She just scarfs that dog cookie down. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's nice though, but there's a bit of a wind I notice. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that was not planned. But I thought being is that this episode is kind of short as it is. May as well just leave the camera run. Okay, now we're going to recompose here. 
Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, Stefan's, uh, Stefan showed, uh, sent some pictures of his, uh, we, we will show those. And we were talking about the sun, the sunrise, weren't we? Okay, maybe I'll do that too. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. We got some more photos, five of them to be exact. And uh, looks like uh, this particular build is finished. As there, it's been done by someone who is named Stefan. And uh, Stefan has uh, done a great job on, on the uniforms here. Just like, look at this, at, at a distance, like at arm's length, that, that's gonna look very realistic. I like that. Uh, let's let's move on to the next photo here. All right, torpedo going down. I'm going to do that too. And uh, he's got crew members all over the place here. And right right here, there's uh, I I think on my model this is closed off. So obviously he has opened this up. Uh, somewhere I heard that trumpeter had had it opened up on the other side where we can't see it. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to do something like that too so we can see what's going on. Uh, I don't know if... Uh, uh, let's see, there's there's LED bulbs obviously here and here. Okay, and uh, let's move on to the next one. A lot of detail on the deck. I had originally been thinking that what I could be doing is uh, not putting the ship in its case and just dusting it off every once in a while. But I can see that uh, uh, there's a lot of detail here that uh, I'd end up probably breaking off. Uh, okay, next one. All right. Um, he has put the clear plastic side on. Um, I do believe that somebody was saying that they weren't going to do that uh, on, on their build. But uh, th this part here has been painted over. Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll worry about that when I get to it. Um, let's move on to the next one. Here we are with that, that same same picture with it all lit up. All the LEDs are on. And I, I like the use of red. You know, uh, we've got a red LED that we put a second coat of clear red on and then we forgot about it. I, it, I know where it is. I should dig that out tomorrow. Uh, anyway... Um, or maybe I should dig it out today. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one here. Well, oh, there is no next one. There's only five. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the use of red. Uh, that that sort of really seems to, to bring it out uh, or make it interesting. Let's put it that way. Uh, we, we've got some kind of a radio room going on here. And I, I don't know if that would have been red on, in a real ship or not, but why not? It sure looks good here. Uh, all right. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you very much.